For practice it, self-check 4.24 second half letters. We are asked to write a method named second half letters that accepts a string as a parameter and returns an integer representing how many of letters in the string come from the second half from the alphabet. That is values of N through Z. So basically, if we get a string like this, we are going to return five because R, U, N, T, and S come from the second half of the alphabet. So in our method, we can first start this by having a public static. Since we know it's returning an integer, we'll call it int, and then the name, which is right here, second half letters. Pasting this in, we will add our parameter, which is a single string. We're calling this name. Now we have our method so we can write inside of it. We know we need to return the integer of how many times the second half of the alphabet is mentioned in our code. So we will have a count. We'll say int count is equal to zero. And then we need a, a for loop. And this for loop is going to go through our entire passed in string and look at every single character and see if that's part of the second half of the alphabet. So we have four int a is equal to zero. A has to be less than word length. And this is because we are running only the length of the word. And then we are going to do a plus plus. That way we can eventually break out of our loop. Now we need an if statement in here. And this if statement is going to see if our character that we are currently looking at is at the second part of our al alphabet or not. So we will have an if. And we can actually use this for loop. We can use this int a to get the character at a since we are incrementing a every single time. So we'll say if character dot to lowercase and we're using this to lowercase method because if it is uppercase, it should also count. So basically we need to make this case insensitive. We have character dot to lowercase. So we're calling the character class. And now we need to get a character to put in here. And the character we want to examine needs to be incremented every single time, which is why I mentioned we are going to be using a here. And we need the string that's passed in. So we are going to have name dot char at and then inside of here will be a. A is going to be what we're passing in because we again are incrementing it every single time. That way we can look at every single character within our string. This should not be word length, this should be name. Or we can change this to word. That way it makes more sense. So we'll change all of the mentions of name to word. That way it makes more sense because we're analyzing a word, not a name and our code should really represent what we're doing just to make sense. So we have if our character dot to lowercase word dot char at a is greater than or equal to the character n, then we are going to increment our count. If it's greater than, that means it's between n and the end of the alphabet, which is z. So we'll have greater than or equal to the character n. Now we need to make an if block, so we will have these brackets or braces and then we will increment our count by one every single time once we break out of this if statement and break out of this for loop all we need to do is return count and that should be the end of our code so if we submit this we definitely did not write something correct it's probably just a small issue but it's so crazy how we get all of these errors just for a single issue and i think my issue is because i did not have a starting brace for our method and this came up with so many errors so it's super important that we include that so another error that I have is that I did not close off my parenthesis for the character dot to lowercase and the word dot char at I didn't add this parenthesis right here when I should have and also I spelt character wrong it should be C H A R A C T E R if I submit this with everything spelled in place correctly we have passed all seven tests, so this is the code for practice at self-check 4.24.